Welcome to our Tech Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter while working with CI builds and Azure deployments. Our viewer is curious about the various environment variables used by tools like MS Build, .NET SDKs, Azure, and Kudu. They've been exploring different resources, from GitHub issues to documentation, and have stumbled upon some intriguing variables like .NET skip first time experience and website node default version. But they're left wondering, where can they find a definitive list of these environment variables and their functions? Let's dive into this topic and uncover the answers together. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to say just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. In this video, we'll explore the environment variables used by MS Build, .NET SDKs, Azure, and Kudu. Understanding these variables can significantly enhance your CI builds and Azure deployments. Let's start with some important .NET environment variables. For example, the variable .NET skip first time experience prevents the build agent from caching packages, which can improve performance. Another useful variable is .NET configure Azure. This variable configures the web.config files std out log file path for Azure deployments. Now let's look at Azure-specific variables. For instance, website node default version sets the default Node.js version for your web app, while website site name identifies your Azure web app's name. To find a comprehensive list of these environment variables, you can refer to the official documentation for .NET, Azure, and Kudu. Unfortunately, there isn't a single master list, but the documentation provides valuable insights. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. For app service, there's a useful list of environment variables, including those starting with SCM and other deployment-focused variables. You can find more Kudu-specific variables at the Kudu GitHub page. Additionally, there's a list of Azure variables in the SDK Design Guide. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.